students, welcome to this ICT learning session on the social and economic effects of using computers in the banking sector. Today I'm going to explain to you how our way of doing banking transactions has changed with the extensive use of computers. Our lesson objective today is to discuss the social and economic effects of using computers in the banking sector. I'm going to talk about traditional banking, e-banking, and ATMs. Now, what do banking transactions mean? Why do people go to the bank? People go to the bank to open or close a bank account, to deposit or withdraw money, to check the account balance, to exchange foreign currency, to transfer money from one account to another, and to apply for a loan. In the traditional way of doing banking, an individual needs to go to the bank with his identification card, stand in a queue, and wait for his turn to be helped by a bank clerk to do a transaction. Today, with the advent of new technologies, banking can be done differently. It is no longer necessary to go into the bank to do most banking transactions. E-banking is now possible. E-banking, also known as online banking or internet banking, allows banking transactions to be done from home or other locations with computer and internet facilities. Here the bank provides an e-banking website for its customers and to be able to perform banking transactions each customer must have a unique user ID or username provided by the bank and a password which is a secret code. Some online transactions that can be done are check account balance, transfer money from one account to another, pay bills, view or print bank statements, and create new accounts. Now, in order to do online banking, the following tools are needed. A personal computer or laptop or tablet PC or smartphone and internet facilities. Of course, you need to register yourself with your bank to obtain login details, that is, a username and a password. Now, let us see the main benefits of e-banking compared to traditional banking. First, some benefits for customers. Transactions can be done from any location. Transactions can be done at any time of the day. No need to wait in queues. And bank statements can be viewed or printed. Now some benefits for banks. A wider customer base. Customers can be from any region as they don't have to be physically present. Banks can operate 24 hours a day. Less staff is required. Large savings on office rental and utility bills. However, e-banking also has some drawbacks for customers as well as for banks. Let us see some drawbacks for customers. They need to have a computer and internet facilities to access the bank's website. 
there is the risk of hacking and financial fraud. Now some drawbacks for banks. Banks need to buy expensive computers and pay IT experts to develop and monitor the website. And in case of network problems, transactions cannot be done. Now students, let's do a quick test on traditional banking and e-banking. You're going to read the statements carefully and say whether they are true or false. You will have about three seconds to give your answer. In traditional banking, you have to travel to the bank. The answer is true. E-banking can be done between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. only. And the answer is false, as e-banking can be done at any time of the day. You need a user ID and a password to perform online banking transactions. The answer is true. When you go to the bank, you must bring your ID card. The answer is true. Internet facility is not required to do online banking. The answer is false as you cannot do online banking without internet facility. Dear students, I'm sure that you got all the answers correct. Now talking about development in the banking sector would not be complete without mentioning ATMs. ATM stands for Automated Teller Machine. It is an electronic banking outlet which allows customers to make basic banking transactions and have access to cash at any time of the day. ATMs can be found outside banks and in shopping centers. In order to use an ATM, a person must have a valid bank card and a PIN, which is a secret code. PIN stands for Personal Identification Number. The PIN should be kept secret, else someone may have access to your account. Now, how to use an ATM? The card holder should insert the bank card in the required slot and type his PIN on the keypad. If the PIN is correct, he will be granted access to his account and may select transactions by pressing screen buttons and by following instructions given on the screen. Let us now have a look at the services offered by most ATMs. At an ATM, you may withdraw cash in the form of banknotes. Make cash deposit. Make check deposit. Check your account balance. View or print a mini statement, pay your bills, and top up mobile phones. Dear students, let us now have a quick test on ATMs. Okay. 
Read the following statements carefully and say whether they are true or false. You will have about 3 seconds to give your answer. Money can be withdrawn from ATMs every day including public holidays. The answer is true, as ATM service is available 24-7. Only a bank card is required to access a bank account from an ATM. The answer is false as a PIN is required together with the bank card to access an account. You can top up your mobile phone at an ATM. The answer is true. You can recharge your mobile phone using money from your bank account at an ATM. You may deposit coins on your account at an ATM. The answer is false as ATMs dispense and accept banknotes only. I am sure that you found all the correct answers. Now it's time to make a quick summary of what you have learned today. In traditional banking, you must call in person at the bank during office hours with your ID card and wait for your turn to be helped by a bank clerk. In e-banking, transactions are done from home or other locations with computer and internet facilities. People also use ATMs to do banking transactions instead of going to the bank. To do some transactions such as cash withdrawal or cash deposit, print or display account summary, recharge mobile phone credit. Well students, that's all for today. I hope that you have enjoyed this video lesson. See you soon.